These are the three signs we got. Welcome home, Staff Sergeant Poisson. Then I got this one. I waited 12 months, 52 weeks, 369 days. Welcome home, Staff Sergeant Poisson. That was really hard to make. <laughs> It was really hard for me to make the start, as you can see on the top. It's not the greatest. And this one I'm hanging out on our like stair railing outside. Long year, time for just pin, Sergeant Poisson. I think this is, this is my favorite because of what it's about. I like that one because of my Air Force sign. These signs took me like five hours to do. It took me a just long time. Tongue in the sign. <laughs> so when he comes up, that's what he'll see. Hopefully no one takes it down. I'll be really upset. But how cool is that? I'm so excited. Side walking Shiva right now first. And then I'm gonna build her up. So I'm gonna get her super excited to go. Someone was watching me. I'm gonna get her super excited to go. Warning, my voice is gonna be really annoying because that's just how I talk to Shiva. I talk to her in this squeaky, annoying mommy voice. She's eating the grass. Now she's about to go poppy. But I'm gonna build her up, so warning that the next couple clips are probably gonna be my voice really, really annoying. So I warned you. I don't know if she knows the term daddy too much. She'll know something's up. Come on, girl, let's go. You wanna go see daddy? You wanna go to the airport? You wanna go get daddy? You wanna go get him? Go see daddy? Go to the airport? Yeah, you wanna go. You wanna go see daddy? <gasps> let's go see daddy. <gasps> let's go see daddy. Go see daddy? You wanna go? My car harness. We gotta put this on in the airport. We don't have to do it right now. <laughs> Get back here. Come on, let's go. Come on. <laughs> Come on, let's go, go get hey, Watch me say hello. I'm with the crew. Say hi, Shimi. Shimi, where are we? We waiting for daddy? She's too occupied. She's like, where are we? Where are we? Hello. Jasenia, <laughs> when do I stop? <laughs> Just bring one for now. Daddy's home. You go first. We got all the luggage. Yeah, don't worry, Daddy's not leaving. Going, sheep. Home. Check all the windows in the rooms. It's empty. You ready to go, Fluff? You ready to go, sheep? Fluffy, get out. Bye, Arizona. Say bye to our apartment, Sheebies. Say bye. Say bye, Devin. <laughs> Say bye, Caroline. <laughs> Fluffos, get out here. Fluffy, come on. Good luck. My apartment in Arizona for the last time. Bye, Arizona. So long. We have a 10 hour drive road trip. It's a surprise. Keep you guys updated. I actually only have 20 minutes left on this 
phone, but bye home. Kevin, you had a yawn. Kiwis, Fluffy's in the back. All the stuff's in the back. Our whole life is in this car, besides our shipment. <laughs> Which is a lure. For the second time, just drop the keys and the air mattress. Sorry. Just dropped the keys and the air mattress to my aunt's house. I started bawling crying because I said goodbye to my aunt's dog. And he's like older and I'll probably never see him again. I hope my aunt doesn't watch this and make her sad. But he's just old and I was just sad to leave him. But here's Shiva um, sitting down. Devin's getting a car charger because we can't find ours. And we're going to need it. I moved Fluffy. And there's my teddy bear, Prince. Fluffy! <laughs> This is the second time we're at the store and I have to pee again and I just peed like 20 minutes ago. Not even 10. Chibi! It's an 18 issues. Even the dogs are selfish. <laughs> Get up, girl! What's it say? Extreme fire alert. Oh. <laughs> the fire in Cali. Well, we are currently stopped. Uh, there was a wildfire just now in California. Someone died from it. Very, very sad. Um, lots of fire trucks. We are stopped at McDonald's right now because um, my car engine, check engine light went on. I never have issues with this car. And my car started revving. And then Devin saw that I have no coolant in the car. Yep. So, yep. PCSing life. There's a beautiful sun, but there's ashes falling from the sky. You're gonna drive us? You're gonna drive? Devin's putting in the coolant. Here at Nissan, in a loner car. We made it to our hotel room. I had to drop my car off at Nissan. They gave us, thankfully, a lunar car. And unfortunately, we don't even know if our car will get fixed tomorrow. I feel so bad for all the people in the wildfire. 20,000 homes evacuated 100,000 people. Literally, it smells like smoke outside. Anywhere you go outside, it smells like fire. Well, on top of the car not working, we got stuck in a wildfire or near the wildfire. Because we were, like, literally right next to it. We, all the hotels, so on top of that, the, all the hotels were getting booked because everyone was getting evacuated. It took us at least 30 minutes to find a hotel. But thankfully, we're here. And we will just hope that we have our car tomorrow. Urgent news here as well. Overnight, power has been restored to 98% of the 2 million people who were cut off because of wildfire risks. And this morning, firefighters are hoping to get some relief from the winds that have been fanning the flames over valleys. At one point, this fire was torching over a football field a minute, leaving homes like this absolutely gutted. And I want to give you a sense of how hot it was burning. Obviously hot enough to burn cars like this, but roof tiles just able to crumble. Good morning, everyone. So we're at Extended Stay Hotel in Los Angeles, or California. Our car pretty much not broken down, but my car is at the shop right now. We didn't even get to our destination last night. It's been a crazy ride. Welcome to PCSing. But we are safe here with the animals. And Fluffy is here. A huge wild fire that we saw like ashes coming down from the sky. It was like really scary. And then all of a sudden my check-in engine light goes on and my car starts getting sluggish. Never had issues with my car before. Not sure what's going on. And it only has 51,000 miles on it. So it's at Nissan. We had to drop it off at Nissan. I feel really bad for all the people that like lost their homes and stuff. It's just crazy. And we just hope that we can get to our destination. And now there's typhoons in Japan. And we're just hoping that we get on the plane at the right time yeah so it's just been super super crazy stressful it's really delays uh and puts a wedge on our plans thankfully my friend 
Jenna lives in LA, so I just saw her. I said to Devin last night when we were driving, I'm like, I'm pretty sure my friend lives close to you. And she lives one mile away, so she came before her work to come say hi, and we might do lunch with them because I don't know if my car will be ready by then. It, yesterday was just really like, <sighs> <laughs> crazy nightmare between the wildfire and then our car all of a sudden stopped like we were literally going towards the fire we saw the 15 fire trucks uh, go by and you see the smoke and the ashes and it was just really really crazy and they were blocking off road we had to find like hotels that weren't around the fire because they were blocked off like the roads were blocked off and then everybody was evacuating so all the hotels were booked and it took forever just for that we didn't get into here till nine o'clock pretty much nine o'clock like into the hotel room so my cat thankfully the animals were fantastic the whole ride here because it was six hours that we drove and we had four more hours to go and fluffy my cat he was such a good boy the whole time not meowing or anything and i felt so bad because at least shiva can go out and walk but he didn't go to the bathroom they didn't eat fed them and he went to the bathroom i was just really more concerned about them <laughs> last night getting them cozy and stuff i'm gonna eat something and then probably go on my computer because we're just sitting here like waiting for my car we Thankfully, I was under the warranty by 9,000 miles. We got a loaner car, and then they had to put plastic all around it because they don't allow animals in loaner cars. It's just like when we tell you one thing after the other, like my car just got robbed two days before this, and thankfully I didn't have anything valuable in the car, but they stole like the key fob to my apartment complex that I had to give back. So it's just been really weird. Welcome to PCSing. PCSing bad luck, <laughs> as my sister-in-law calls it. That's really the update. I still don't know where we're going. All I know is that we're going up north in California. And hopefully we get at least one day of it. We don't know. We bought this hotel for another night, for tonight, just in case we get stuck here again. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know what else to say. Who's there? Who's there, TV? Who's there? You got black too. <laughs> what was that? You got black on too. Yeah. She's like crazy chatting right now. On our way to have lunch with my friend Jenna at Veggie Grill. I don't know where we go. We don't have Veggie Grill in Arizona. It's a all vegan restaurant if you're not familiar with it. I'll go eat some good food. Veggie Grill. TVs. You shush, little one. <laughs> my house. Yeah, that's a She's like, why am I in the cage? I don't know. He won't text and drive. Got our car back. Back on the road. Here we go. Four hours to Northern California. I don't know, it's a surprise. <laughs> 